So here is our next page. So we just finished this one. And now we want to turn this one over. This will be on the left side of our book. Okay. And um, our strip is to the right. Okay, so what you will need is two pieces of cardstock, whatever you use for your interactive elements. And they're gonna be 11 inches long by eight and one eighth wide. Okay, so eight and one eighth by 11. And you need two of those. And you are gonna score those with the short side at the top at one half. and five-eighths. Okay, so one-half and five-eighths of an inch. Okay, so I am only going to fold on my half inch score line for now. Um, I'm going to wait until I have these pieces adhered down and then I will fold on the other one. And the reason I do that is because when I have such a tiny eighth of an inch gusset or spine, it gets in the way when I'm trying to adhere this half inch one down. Okay. So I'm gonna take the first one. And actually, let's go ahead and miter just those half inch flaps. Okay, so we are going to decorate these before we adhere them to our base page because I want to know exactly how thick these are going to be after they're decorated um, before we can do our closure pieces. Okay, so I'm going to put this aside and um, All right, so the way this is gonna work, I've got one with the half inch flap on the left and that folds under, okay? And then I've got one with a half inch flap on the right and that folds under. This one is gonna sit on top and this is how they're gonna go onto our page. So basically this one here, we'll get it here down first like so, and this one will get adhered on top of that one. So just keep that, <laughs> that was lovely. So just keep that in mind um, as we're decorating. So um, the one with the flap to the right, again, that's on top. So I will keep that one out and Okay, so for this page, uh, I have, for the whole layout, um, which is four different spreads, this 
particular page we're working on has four, actually it's gonna have like five, but it's got um, four different spreads on the fronts and backs of these pieces here. And I've chosen a pink for all of my matting for photos, okay? So you can see the description of this video for all the sizes you need if you wanna cut them all out at once. Um, but I did choose the same color throughout, which you would have seen at the beginning of this um, video when I showcased the page as it was finished. Um, so you can cut all those at once if you uh, would like to, but this one here is four and an eighth by four and an eighth, as is that one, so you need two of those. And this one is three and an eighth by three and one eighth, okay? So what I did was I just situated them where I wanted them. And I like little tiny borders. If you want your borders to be slightly larger, like a quarter of an inch, then you're gonna have to cut your photo mats down some, okay? And I am accounting for, there's a little one eighth of an inch gusset here I haven't yet folded. But that is why, that is why I have a bigger space over here on the right, because there's still that one eighth inch gusset, okay? All right, so my four and one eighth by four and one eighth photo mats are gonna go up in that left corner and down in this left corner. The three and one eighths by three and one eighths is gonna go there. And then I took another three and one eighths by three and one eighths piece of just decorative paper and that's gonna go down here. Okay. I chose a piece of decorative paper to go across the center. And once I get all of my mats in place, and you could call this one a photo mat as well, um, but once I get all my main pieces in place, it's just a matter of measuring whatever is left over so that I know exactly what size the decorative paper should be and then cutting it, okay? So just from here to here, I think was seven and three eighths. Yeah. So just measure your spaces. After you cut your photo mats and put them where you want them, measure the spaces that's left over, account for whatever size border you like, and then cut decorative paper to fit in those spaces. And I have these two here, okay. And I type this in Silhouette Studio, and I'm gonna bump that up. That's gonna sit over here off to the side, that's gonna go there, that's gonna go there. And then I have these two little tags. Um, they came from Creative Fabrica. I have a subscription where I can download all the assets I want. Um, so that's where those came from. I just pulled them into Silhouette Studio and cut them out, print them and cut them on my Cameo. Okay, so that's what that's gonna look like. So I'm just gonna start gluing things down.
so this piece is done. So we're going to turn it over like so. Okay, and we are carefully, because <laughs> we certainly did put a lot of uh, bumped up embellishments on there. We are gonna grab our next items. I will grab my next items and I will tell you what I've got here. Okay, so uh, this is a four and one eighth of an inch by six and one eighth of an inch photo mat, okay. This one here is three and five eighths by five and one eighths, which will fit a three and a half by five. this one placed over here. I had this one placed down here. And remember, I do have that little eighth of an inch gusset here, which is why there's more space there. Which is why I have more of a gap on the left. Okay. And then this is the same size as this photo mat. So three and five eighths by five and one eighths. And I, again, I got, oh, I think, wait, no, I got, I bought that from Etsy. I think I might've told you that I found these from Creative Fabrica, but no, I purchased them on Etsy. Okay. <laughs> and then I just measured um, the remaining space there. Cut that to fit. Same thing with that piece. Cut that to fit. And just grab some embellishments from my stash. And here is another encouraging Bible verse. Okay, so that's what I did for this page. So just, um, if you're following mine exactly, you just need a four and one eighth by six and one eighth photo mat. And then you need a five and one eighth by three and five eighths photo mat. And then this is the same size as that. It's just a piece of ephemera, an ephemera card. <laughs> Could do a journaling card, whatever you want. And then I just, um, I typed this up again in Silhouette Studio. I cut it out as a square. I probably will bump that one up as well. And then I just found some things in my stash, okay? That I thought would look cute.
so then we need this page. All right, so this one had, this was the front, this one had the flap on the left. And I'm sorry, on the right. This one is gonna have the flap on the left. Um, so before we decorate this one, we should go ahead and adhere these together. Uh, let's see here. Okay, so um, this one has the flap on the left folded under and this one we are just going to simply apply adhesive to the outside of that one half inch flap and then that it'll go under and then the folded edge will go right there, okay? did that quite perfect, <laughs> which is not usual. All right, so now I'm going to fold on that little tiny one eighth of an inch gusset, which I'm having a hard time seeing. But let's see here. There it is. one eighth of an inch spine over there that is going to allow us that is going to allow us to have a little bit of space inside here okay see look at that i don't know how well you can see that but perfect okay so now that we have that attached we can go ahead and put these two together okay so for this one So these are both just like those two. They're three and five eighths by five and one eighths. I don't know how I wanna lay it out. I had it a certain way, but now that they're actually next to each other, I might change my mind. But three and five eighths by five and one eighths. And that's for all four of these. And then you'll have a little space going across the center of your page. So just measure that leftover space. Cut whatever decorative piece you want to go in there. And I have to pull up my layout so I remember exactly what I did. Okay, so I had this here. These little flowers, I think, were perfect with the colors in here. 
but I had these here, so I'm going to have to switch these back to the way I had it originally. So those flowers aren't all bunched together. It might be cute to do that. Nope, I think I like that. Those pandas will be side by side. <laughs> okay. I may, I may do something like that because this, that's really cute. Okay, but for now, I'm just gonna go ahead and adhere all these down. Okay, so then we can turn this over and this is our last side. This one has a four and one eighth of an inch uh, by six and one eighth of an inch. And then four, but uh, yeah. Oh wait, what is this one? This one does not look right. Okay, well, um, it's funny, I, I never intended to use a piece that was this size. So this is kind of a funky size. It's th It would fit like a three and a half by four inch photo. So it's cut three and five eighths by four and one eighths. I'm just gonna keep it because I already planned out this page with the wrong mat, but that's all right. Okay, so we'll start by adhering the four and an eighth by six and an eighth.
Okay, so this is the top. And then it opens like that. And then you close it again. And then it and then as it's attached to the book, it goes out like that. Okay? So it's starts like this, opens like that, and then you do this, and then that. It's gonna be attached to the book right here. Okay, so, or I should say it's gonna be attached to the page. So this is our page. I'm not quite done yet, honey. Okay, so that's, oh yes, and now actually we can go ahead and fold on that additional score line that we had not yet folded on. Okay, there we go. So that's going to get glued. This flap is going to get glued, but I'm going to have mine completely centered here, okay? And then I'm going to lay just a strip of paper here. And then I, you, I'll, I'm not sure, I might even just do a strip here or whatever piece goes from here to here will obviously show. So let me think of how I want to do that. Okay, so I'm gonna make some closure tags. So you need two pieces of cardstock that measure two and a half by four and a half. Two and a half by four and a half. And you wanna score them at, with the long side at the top, you wanna score them at one half inch, okay? and then fold and burnish on those half inch score lines. Just like that, okay? And then on the end, on the opposite end, we just want to kind of make it look like a tag. So I'm gonna do that. And then um, exactly how that piece came out, I'm gonna flip it Line it up on the opposite corner. And then use that as a guide to make the other side exactly identical. Okay. There we go. And then I can do this. I'll do it right now. Okay. So, uh, figure out what paper you want on your tags. Okay. So let's see, four and a half by two and a half. So <clears throat> cut this to an eighth of an inch smaller.
oh yeah, so <laughs> two and a half by four because we're not accounting for the little flap. mine up on the back side as evenly as I can get it. Make sure that that looks good and then just cut inward a little bit. Just cut just inside. probably better ways to do that to make it look more even, but that's how I did it. Okay, perfect. It doesn't matter whether you line it up on the top or underneath, I guess. This might be easier to do it this way. Have those two tags. Let's glue them on. So there's our two tags. This one will go on the left. This one will go on the right. And let's see here. So I'm going to make score lines in my tag about up to about maybe a half an inch. Let's start there. And see how that does. Okay. So there's there's my first score line. It's right there. So after that, I'm going to go every eighth of an inch. Oops, which is going to be hard to do. So, sort of hard to do. Every eighth of an inch until I get to, until I get to um, the one inch mark on my scoreboard, which is a half an inch away from the from the flap. Okay. So then we can do that. Okay. And then if we bring in our page, or yeah, bring in our page, we can see if that's enough. And no, it is not. I'm gonna go to the one inch line. I'm, I'm sorry, I'm gonna go one inch from our half inch flap. I'm gonna go one inch over, which is gonna be to the one and a half inch on our in our scoreboard.
So we can do that to our other one as well. All right, so on our tags, I have nested circle dies. I have a, I don't know how many come in the set, but there are a lot. Circles up to six inches big, all the way down to this size. So I just used those circle dies in my manual die cutting machine and cut them. But if, um, if you have punches or any other way to cut a circle, mine are about a half an inch, okay? Half an inch in diameter. So I am going to adhere those to my tags. Just somewhere, wherever I think it looks good. And I'm gonna punch a circle. In the center of those. kind of off center, but that's okay. There we go. I'm going to grab two um, eyelets. Okay, so, oh yeah, we probably should have matted the back. All right, <laughs> um, mat your back first before you set your eyelets, if that's what you wanna do. I guess I will just leave mine plain. And then once that's done, once you've matted the back and then set your eyelets, um, you wanna find the center of your page. Generally, you could eyeball it. Um, once I have the center, then I'll eyeball this. And then you just want to adhere that down. Okay, that half inch flap. So this is the paper that I'm going to use for the base page, but I want to adhere this down first in the center. So I am just going to apply glue to the outside of this flap here, and then I'm going to center it as best I can and then burnish, okay?
All right, so now I want to cut this piece um, the same length as our page, which is 11 from here to here. So this piece will go an eighth of an inch smaller and it is a directional paper, so I wanna make sure I'm cutting in the right direction. like that and then I will measure from so not including that eighth of an inch gusset I'm just gonna measure at the edge of that one half inch flap to the edge of my page which is exactly eight inches so then this needs to go seven and seven eighths So that will go just like that. And then over here, we have exactly one half inch. So I will cut a strip three eighths of an inch. For this page, I'm not going to do anything, certainly nothing with dimension because it's already pretty thick. Um, but you could lay some, well, I mean, you could do anything you wanted. <laughs> I will lay some photo mats probably. But that is basically the page. Let's go ahead and your tags are prettier because you probably matted the back. <laughs> um, but we can take some. And actually, I'm trying to think about this. Yeah, so since I did not mat mine, I'm not gonna secure this down. It can just, um, just be a piece that can come off. Okay, but there we go. That is that page. <laughs>